In a patient with ITP, immune thrombocytopenia, the bleeding tends not to happen very quickly. It's generally not arterial bleeding, it's platelet bleeding, and so that bleeding happens more slowly. The important thing to stress to your patients is that they should present immediately when they have bleeding symptoms, so that if they have a headache and nausea and vomiting and concern for intracranial hemorrhage after trauma or spontaneously, they should come to the emergency room when those symptoms begin rather than waiting a long time before they present. When you're the emergency room physician or if you are a resident or a fellow who's talking to the emergency room physician, you should immediately intervene if you have concern for intracranial hemorrhage or for major GI bleeding and not necessarily wait for that hematologist to call you back. And those interventions should be directed at raising that platelet count and raising the platelet count quickly. So I would recommend IVIG, steroids, and even platelet transfusions in that setting. It's never wrong to give a platelet transfusion in the setting of a patient where you're worried about potentially life-threatening hemorrhage. Even in the setting of ITP, that platelet transfusion is not going to do harm to that patient and may potentially save their life because intervening early in ITP with severe bleeding is important because it is most likely to be effective early in the bleeding, and that's when you really need to get that bleeding under control. It makes it easier to control the hemorrhage overall.